This is the curved smartphone screen, cool, futuristic, and packed with cutting edge tech. But there was a big problem hiding under all that hype, screen protectors. Yep, they just couldn't keep up. When curved screens first came out, they felt like the future. Phones like the Samsung Galaxy Edge caught everyone's eye with their wraparound edges. They promised better video watching, a sleek design, and a fancy feel. They looked like the next big thing, offering something fresh and exciting. Now imagine this. You've spent hundreds, maybe even thousands, on one of these fancy curved screen phones. But here's the kicker. How do you protect it? You slap on a screen protector, but it won't stay put. Why are there bubbles everywhere? You wonder. Even worse, finding one that fits perfectly feels impossible. And this isn't just about a tiny annoyance. This is about keeping your pricey phone safe. Curved screens came in with a big splash, grabbing attention and promising to change how we see smartphones. It all started with the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge in 2014. This phone had one curved edge and it wasn't just for looks, it felt like a peek into the future. By the time Samsung launched the Galaxy S6 Edge, curved screens weren't just a cool idea anymore. They had become a major trend across the smartphone world. So why was everyone so excited? Curved screens brought a touch of luxury and made phones look futuristic. They stood out from the flat screens we were used to. Watching videos felt more immersive with the way the curves blended into the edges of the screen. It was like your favorite content was spilling over the sides, creating this endless, dreamy effect. But it wasn't just about looking good. Companies also sold curved screens as being super useful. Features like edge lighting for notifications, quick shortcuts to apps, and even personalized panels made the phone feel unique like it was made just for you. These extras made it seem like curved screens weren't just changing how phones looked, but also how we used them. People loved the style. A phone with curved edges wasn't just a gadget, it was a statement piece, almost like carrying art in your pocket. Early buyers were thrilled to have something so advanced and cutting edge, feeling like they were part of the next big thing in smartphones. But underneath all that beauty, a big problem was growing. As cool as those curves looked, they brought real-world challenges that nobody expected. Making these screens was hard, and using them every day wasn't always easy. The biggest issue? Durability. Protecting these gorgeous but fragile displays turned out to be way harder than anyone thought. For millions of users, this became a frustrating love-hate relationship. Sure, the design was stunning, but it came with headaches. What once felt like the future of smartphones turned into a constant worry for people who wanted their phones to look good, but also handle everyday life. Flat screens and screen protectors. Simple. A glass or plastic layer would stick easily to a flat phone surface, protecting it from scratches and drops. But when curved screens came along, things got complicated fast. The problems were clear right away. First, getting a screen protector to stick to the curved edges was a huge challenge. Regular protectors use an adhesive that sticks to the surface, but curved screens didn't cooperate. You'd end up with air gaps, annoying bubbles, or the protector peeling off entirely. It was frustrating. Then there's the curve itself. Sure, it looks great, but those rounded edges are more fragile. If your phone falls, the edges take the impact first and most protectors only stick to the flat parts of the screen, leaving the edges unprotected. It really defeats the purpose, right? And don't even get started on compatibility. Even protectors that fit the curve had issues. Touch sensitivity went down and your taps and swipes wouldn't register. As for tempered glass, making curved glass that fit perfectly and worked well was nearly impossible. It was like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. These weren't just minor problems, they led to a lot of unhappy customers. People who paid high prices for their sleek, curved phones found themselves stuck with bad protection or none at all. What was once seen as a futuristic design now felt like a major flaw, and for many, it just wasn't worth the trouble. The frustration with curved screens didn't take long to build up. What started as excitement for a cool, new feature quickly turned into disappointment, and the screen protector issue was at the center of it all. People on forums, social media, and YouTube shared their problems. Thanks, I hate it. Comments like, curved screens are impossible to find a screen protector for, were not just random complaints. They were a common issue that everyone seemed to face. This wasn't just a small problem, it was a big flaw in a product that was supposed to be high-end and advanced. Imagine spending over $1,000 on a brand new phone, only to find out that protecting it properly is almost impossible. Many users had to choose between bulky, ill-fitting protectors or leaving their screens unprotected, which was not ideal. Manufacturers didn't have much luck fixing the problem either. 
Samsung tried creating their own solutions, but those had a lot of issues too. High costs, hard to apply designs, and poor durability. Other accessory makers tried new ideas like hydrogel films, UV adhesives, and edge-only glass protectors, but each solution came with its own drawbacks in terms of usability, protection, or ease of use. No perfect fix ever came, and the frustration only grew. For many users, the sleek look of the curved screen no longer made up for all the daily issues. Was this the point when curved screens started to lose their appeal? Or could companies find a way to fix things before the trend disappeared completely? Curved screens were really popular in the late 2010s, but by 2022, they started to fade away. What happened? People spoke up. Practicality mattered more than looks. For years, curved screens were sold as the next big thing in smartphones. But over time, the everyday issues with them made people lose interest. Users started focusing on phones that were stronger and more reliable for daily use. That's when flat-edged phones and foldable phones came in, devices that offered new features without the problems of curved screens. Manufacturers noticed this change. By the early 2020s, they started making changes. Samsung, the brand most known for curved screens, led the way. Phones like the Galaxy S22 Ultra had softer curves, finding a middle ground between style and practicality. The flatter edges helped with better screen protection and easier use, fixing some of the main issues people had with earlier models. It wasn't just Samsung. Other phone brands also backed off from extreme curves, choosing designs that were more practical and dependable. What was once seen as the latest innovation now become a reminder that flashy designs don't always work out. The lesson was clear. Form has to serve function. As the market changed, curved screens went from being a trend to a warning. A reminder that even the coolest features must meet the everyday needs of users. Do you think curved screens will come back or has the industry learned its lesson for good? So, why couldn't curved screens and screen protectors work together? The problem was that curved screens were cool and new, but they also brought up practical issues that couldn't be ignored. While the design looked nice, it created problems that affected how people actually used their phones. This is a reminder that technology needs to find a balance. A nice design is great, but it's not helpful if it makes the phone harder to use. The curved screen showed that no matter how fancy something looks, it's not useful if it doesn't make the phone easier to use every day. Looking back, curved screens teach us a valuable lesson. Cool designs need to work well for the user, not just look good. They show us that for new ideas to really succeed, we need to ask, does this help people use the phone better? For some, the answer was no. But for others, it taught us lessons that are still shaping phone designs today. What do you think? Were curved screens a failed idea, or did they help create something better? Do you think the design was worth the problems, or did it just make things harder to use? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Curved screens were a bold idea, but they had some big problems, especially when it came to screen protectors. Even though they aren't as popular anymore, people still talk about them in the tech world today, but there's something bigger these curved screens showed us about the smartphone industry, something most people don't mention. It's a problem that affects almost every device you use, from high-end phones to budget ones. It's something we all deal with, even if we don't realize it. If you want to learn more about tech and stay updated, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest trends and insights.